Natalie Staples here for IceBoxing.com with Anto the Pride for Charles. Anto, back in Dublin, um, probably not the test you wanted, that you were telling us you wanted a tough test for this. Well, um, like, no disrespect to the guy I'm fighting, like, his record's not great, but I, don't, I haven't seen him, I haven't even watched him yet. I haven't been up to my eyes really, you know, so I haven't even got time to watch him, but I did ask for someone with a winning record, or with no losses even, like, it wouldn't have bothered me, and this is what they can work me with. Were you, what you did they give you a reason for it or no no they just that's who they had for they had their fella already so so that was the reason really. and obviously you're looking for bigger fights at like midway but do you think it'd be decent to get a couple of fights at the weight just to, to see how you are or well we're going to get this one out of the way and then i'm going to start calling everybody out again <laughs> Like, you know, do you want to start now? <laughs> no, no, I'll wait till after. I have to get this one out of the way. I can't look past this belly yet, you know? Well, so, yeah, looking straight for a big fight. I'm looking for straight for a big fight after this one. Are you looking to put on a bit of a show here in the stadium? I know you always bring a crowd with you, so that brings its own pressures. Are you looking to put on a bit of a show? Or? Well, we'll have to put on a bit of a show, like after the last one that I had boxed here in Dublin, you know? So, we'll just have to live up to it now. And you were away in Vegas for your birthday, and did you train over there? Or did yeah, I've done a small bit of training. <laughs> I've done a small bit. Didn't do loads, but I did do a small bit. But it hasn't affected the weight. It hasn't right affected that at all. all you can eat, or well, a couple of McDonald's, <laughs> a couple of curries here and there, you know, a couple of points as well. But it was on holidays. <laughs> but you, you were doing strength and conditioning for this one. Yeah, I trained right up though before I went away as well with uh, CP Turner there, yeah. Paul Turner. He was training me right up, and then when I come back down, I'm after being out there with uh, Noel O'Brien and Oxy Fitness. And then I was I done all my sparring as well, so I was sort of ahead of myself. I done my sparring with Craig O'Brien as well, and with uh, Fats as well. So you was in the ring with Fats? No, fuck oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was at the main training, so I was ahead of myself before I went away. So and did you notice the, the difference in the, in, with the, the bit of strength and condition? I know you noticed the difference in your diet, you were saying previously. Well, I noticed a lot, like, even with the sparring and with the conditioning. Like, I noticed that I was a lot fitter and I was more relaxed then. I knew I had fitness there then, you know. I wasn't trying to fucking just go in and go for a and then go out to work. I was happy getting out. And making light middleweight. Well, making light middleweight is easy now. Yeah. And you're from a former super middleweight. Former super middleweight down to light middleweight. Sure, I might even make well done. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. 